Well, this is one of the big holiday events in our area, the Christmas Tree Festival at the Allen County Museum, the 51st year this year. And joining me today to tell us about how the countdown's on and what's going to be happening, we've got the director of the Allen County Museum, Dr. Christine Fowler-Shear. And thanks for coming today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so, this is a big event. It's going to be your first one? It is going to be my first one, <laughs> yes. Um, I've been hearing lots of great things about it. Um, apparently, we're at 123 trees already. And that sounds like a lot. there's still some coming in. It's just now if they come in, they don't get electricity because we're oh. kind of out of all the electricity spots. It's only so many plugs, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> and then um, we're going to have music back again this year, um, which we haven't had since before COVID. And the Children's Museum is going to have um, Italy as their theme for Christmas. And, yeah, we're kind of excited about it. All right. Yeah, it is such the tradition. And, you know, evergreen the tree and crafts and things like that. So you're kind of trying to bring back a little bit of everything, right, for yes. this? Yes, evergreen the tree will be there. There, there will be some crafts. So, yeah, it, I think it's going to be pretty close to what it was before. So. Oh, that's exciting. Just bigger. Yeah, really. It does sound bigger. Bigger and better. <laughs> and it's neat because you fit the trees in around the... It's not like you take down your exhibits or anything. Right, right. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how they're all going to fit in. So, <laughs> yeah. But Donna has it completely under control. So. I was say, we make it fit. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, so when does it start? Tell us the date. Uh, so, it starts... Um, November 29th and it runs through December 3rd and we are open late on Friday till 8 o'clock so you can definitely come after work if the weekends don't work for you. All right yeah I mean I think with all the different times it, you do try to make sure that the family can get there mm -hmm. and work it around work and it's just become a tradition where people bring family members and you know, people come back to town for this sometimes. Yes and we have quite a few uh, school tours scheduled already too. Oh all so right. On Wednesday Thursday Friday. Oh, that's fun. All right. Yeah. So just, it, and it takes a village to do this, right? I mean, the museum is a big part because of that, but you have a lot of volunteers. Do you need any more? Um, you know, I don't know if we need any more or not. Um, I'm not in charge of the volunteers. So, um, <laughs> you know, I do know that we have a really strong group of people that are, that are working on it. And um, it kind of just seems to like move and work say, and work the way it's supposed to. Right. So. It's, it's like a grease machine or whatever, yeah. oiled machine, because they just know what they're doing and they get it done. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> also, besides inside the museum, is the cabin going to be open this the year? The cabin will be open. They will um, be cooking in there, I believe, and the gardens will also be open. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I really don't know what to expect. So. I was going to say, it's kind of hard for you to talk about it since you've never experienced it, so it's kind of fun and I, unique. I was, I was prepped. You were prepped. There I we was go. Prepped. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a neat event. All right. And so also the McDonald House, that is a very unique building to be part of the museum yes. and so you've got a special open house coming up we do on December 16th um, we were lucky enough to have the stained glass windows in the house uh, taken down cleaned and restored and put back up so we're going to show everybody the windows at night to lit up and have a little bit of wine and cheese and just want people to kind of walk in like an open house see the Christmas decorations and enjoy themselves for a little bit of time all right and so that is on December 16th right yes. in the evening yes do you need reservations or buy tickets for this you what? don't need to buy tickets you don't need reservations um it's like i said it's just like a open house so um yeah that's pretty cool that's a that's a unique victorian house right it is, is that extremely the area? unique yes yeah. it's it was built in 1893 so mm -hmm. um the decorations are always amazing normally there is a charge to get into the house this is an opportunity to not mm -hmm. um have that charge right. and also to just kind of showcase the, the support we've gotten from the family and, and different things, and the windows are amazing. I was going to say, the, to save the stained glass just seems like a really important thing because it you does. don't always get that anymore. Right, and yeah. so it looks amazing. That's so. cool. All right, so mark your calendars for December 16th to check out the McDonald's house, too. So lots of Christmas stuff happening. Thanks yes. for coming today. Thank you for having me. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.